Nitro Sign Tutorial for Beginners. Hi guys, this is Speak About Digital and welcome to this video on how to use Nitro Sign. Nitro Sign is an electronic signature service that allows you to securely sign and send documents online. It streamlines the process of obtaining signatures and eliminates the need for printing, scanning, and mailing paper documents. In this tutorial, we will guide you through the basics of NitroSign. We will show you how to create a NitroSign account, provide an overview of the features, and demonstrate how to sign documents using NitroSign. We have a lot to cover in this video, so let's get started with the tutorial. To begin using NitroSign, the first step is to create an account. You will find the link down below in the description. So, go to the description of this video and click on the first link you find there. This will take you to the correct home page. Once you're on the home page, click on the Nitro Login option at the top right side of the screen and you will be taken to the login page. Here, click on the Sign Up option. Now, enter your email address and click on the Start Your Free Trial button. Nitro will now send you a verification email. Open your email inbox and look for the email sent by Nitro. Once you click on the verification link, you will be taken to another page where you need to set up your account. Enter your first name, last name, company name, and create a strong password. Once done, click on the Next button to proceed. Next, follow the on-screen prompts and provide information about your business. Once done, click on the Get Started button. You will now be directed to your new Nitro account. The dashboard is the central hub for all Nitro's features, designed with a user-friendly layout to optimize navigation. On the dashboard, you'll find a left-hand menu that grants easy access to key sections, Overview, Profile, and Connected Apps. The Overview section provides a comprehensive summary of your Nitro account. You can view your Nitro product's sign-in details and manage your settings conveniently from this section. In the Profile section, you'll be able to manage your Nitro account details. It provides options to edit your profile, ensuring your information is always up to date. The Connected Apps is where you can see and manage the applications you've granted access to your Nitro account. These applications can take action on your behalf, enhancing your overall Nitro experience. Now that you have familiarized yourself with the dashboard, let's proceed to our Nitro Sign account. To do this, click on the Overview option from the left menu, then under the Nitro Product selection, click on the Nitro Sign option. Once you click, you will be taken to your Nitro Sign account. On the left side of your NitroSign account interface, you can view the left panel. This panel includes options like Home, Tools, My Documents, Shared With Me, My Templates, and Archive. The Home section of your NitroSign account offers a comprehensive activity summary, including the number of signatures needed, documents awaiting signatures, and drafts. This section also showcases recent document activity. There are two buttons in the top right of this page, Self-Sign and Send for Signature. The Self-Sign button is for instances where you are signing your own documents, whereas the Send for Signature option is when you need to send documents to others for signing. The Tools section provides various options like Combine, which allows you to merge two documents, Convert, which enables you to change the document file type, Optimize to reduce document size, Organize to sort and rotate pages, and sign to add text and signatures to the documents. In the My Documents section, you can view recently added documents as well as add new ones. The Shared With Me section is where you will find documents that others have shared with you. We encourage you to invite your team to Nitro to begin sharing. The My Templates section is particularly useful for documents that you frequently reuse, such as sales contracts or order forms. To get started, Click on the Create Template button on the top right of this page, or select the Save as Template checkbox when sending any of your documents for signature. Lastly, the Archive section is where you can declutter your workspace by archiving documents. This option is particularly useful for documents that you no longer need to access frequently. Once archived, these documents will not show up in other sections of your NitroSign account. Now, Let's see how to sign documents in NitroSign. To sign documents in NitroSign, click on the Home tab from the left panel. From there, you will see two buttons at the top right side of this page, Self-Sign and Send for Signature. 
For this tutorial, we will focus on the self-sign documents. When you click on the self-sign, a pop-up window appears with different options to upload documents. You have the ability to upload documents from your computer, from your Nitro documents, from Box, from Dropbox, from Google Drive, from OneDrive, or from SharePoint. But for this tutorial, we will upload documents from our computer. So, click on the My Computer option, and then click on the Browse option to select your document. Once your document is uploaded, you will be taken to the editor. In the editor, you have the Add Fields option on the left side. You can add fields for signature, name, initials, date, title, company, checkbox, and custom. You also have the option to add recipients to the documents. To do this, click on the Add Recipient option. For this tutorial, we want to add a signature field to the document. To do this, drag the signature field to the place in the document where you want to sign. Once you've placed the signature field, click on the Create New Signature option. A pop-up window will appear with three options, Draw, Type, and Upload. For the Draw option, you'll be provided with a blank canvas where you can manually draw your signature using your mouse or touchpad. This mimics the experience of signing a physical document and lends a personal touch to your digital document. If you choose the Type method, you can simply input your signature by typing your name. The system will automatically generate a stylized signature based on your typed input. This option is quite straightforward and requires no additional equipment. Lastly, the Upload option allows you to import a signature you've previously created and saved on your computer. This is especially useful if you have a signature in an image format that you've been using for other documents. Each of these methods allows you to add a unique personal touch to your Nitro documents. Choose the one that's most convenient and best fits your needs. You can also change the color of your signature. Once you have drawn, typed, or uploaded your signature, click on the Create Signature button. Your signature will now be added to the signature field. Once you've completed this, Click on the Save Signature button at the bottom right side to save the signature to the document. Once you click this, your signed document will be saved and you will be redirected to your NitroSign account interface. And there you have it, a beginner's guide to using NitroSign. If you want to try it out for yourself, you can sign up using the first link in the description. I would really appreciate that, thank you. I hope you found it useful and learned something new. So again, if you found this video helpful, please give me a thumbs up, and if you have any questions at all, please comment below. I try to answer all the comments the best I can. Thanks for watching!